A lot of people are calling what's happening on the planet right now the Great Awakening. And what this means is that people are realizing that they don't have to live in fear. People are realizing that they can live life on their terms and create the reality that they want. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to align with what some people are calling the Great Awakening, because if you're not fully in alignment with where the world is headed, you're, you're probably going to suffer a little bit more than you actually have to. And I'm going to share with you how to completely avoid being on the wrong timeline and fully align with your dream life, what you're really meant to be doing, what your soul wants to do, and what will actually allow you to live the best best life possible and be fully aligned with where the universe and the world is headed right now. So if you're new to this channel, what I want you to do is to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell because I do post a new video every single day. Also, if you want to work with me one on one personally, hit the link that's in the description box of this video to apply for a free consultation. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to be in alignment with the great awakening or at least what people call the great awakening which is just basically people are becoming more conscious and you see consciousness is headed in a certain direction inherently and you can be going with the current of the river or you could be going against the river and i'm going to be sharing with you how to go with the river with the current and actually use this not only to empower yourself in your in your own life but the entire planet and the people around you. Because you gotta realize, when you're not in alignment with the Great Awakening, not only are you affecting your life in a negative way, but also the people around you. So it's not just you, it's a lose-lose. But this video is gonna create what I call the win-win dynamic, where you can be fully aligned with the Great Awakening and create what I call the win-win. So the first way to do this is very simple, follow your passion. And this sounds cliche, but it's so true because so many people have a heart-based passion, something that they enjoy, something that they're meant to do, and they don't follow it. Why? Because of fear. And fear goes against the Great Awakening because what's happening is fear is coming up to the surface right now on the planet. And we're feeling all this fear, but some people are resisting that and then they stay on the path that's not right for them. If you process the fear, if you let it go, follow your passion instead, what's gonna happen is that you're actually going to be in alignment with the Great Awakening because fear is not something that should be consuming your life. When you're actually in alignment with your passion, that means you're in a fearless and you're in a selfless state. The very nature of following your passion is actually to be more selfless, to be more fearless, to be more of service to the world. And when you're following your passion, that's part of awakening is following what you really want to be doing, following what you love to do. Not because you're going to get some results, but because why not do what you love every single day? Remember, tomorrow's not guaranteed. And people think that they have time. That's the biggest issue. The biggest issue is that people think they have time. But I'm going to bring it to you straight. Time doesn't exist. The only thing that we have is this moment right now. So what you want to do is follow your passion now. Stop wasting time. And I know that some people aren't ready to fully go into that. At least start thinking about what your passion is. At least start thinking about what you really want to be doing with your life. And this has applied for your whole life, but especially now with the Great Awakening, especially now. I'm not just here to be motivational and let you know to follow your passion, just in general, always I am gonna say that, but especially because of what's happening on the planet. Because with this massive shift in consciousness that's happening, if you stay out of alignment with the path that's not for you, that's gonna be amplified times 10, and it's gonna be extremely difficult to be on that timeline. And that's what I believe personally. I hate to say this, but I feel like if you're on the path of love in the next 10, 20, 10, 20 years, that's gonna be the best, most, magical and beautiful mystical experience but if you're on the path of fear in the next 10 years i hate to say it but i think it's going to be very miserable for people that don't actually follow what they want there's a huge split happening where on one hand people are following love following consciousness following truth following what's truly meant for them and then other people completely deny that and go into unconsciousness fear resistance uh, fighting the present moment not following their passion. So especially right now, it's super important that you follow your passion. It's super critical. I think that this will put you on a timeline that will allow you to not only live your best life, but also the people around you. Because when you're in alignment with your passion, you spread those positive vibrations to the people around you. Now, the second thing you can do is speak your truth. Never hold in anything. 
But sometimes your truth can be not to say anything and just turn inward and say nothing. But always be in alignment with truth. Be in alignment with what feels right to you. If you feel like you have to say something and something feels off, then say it. If you're living a lie, that's not in alignment with the Great Awakening. You want to be fully connected with your truth. Always share with people how you feel if you feel like you want to say something. Always go inwards and don't say anything if you feel like you don't want to say anything. Speak your truth. Be honest. Because what happens is the unconsciousness and ego and manipulation all starts manifesting because of people lacking the ability to speak the truth honestly. Just sharing with people how they feel. Just sharing with people, this is how I feel. This is the truth right now. Speak your truth. Be honest. This is what awakening is about, is being completely honest, being completely vulnerable, but sometimes not sharing anything that can be your truth. Always share with people the truth and always be connected with who you really are. And that is going to allow you to shift and be fully in alignment with the great awakening in the life that you're truly meant to be living. Now, the fourth thing you can do to be in alignment with the great awakening is to prioritize your internal world. You see, what a lot of people do is they focus too much on the external world and that creates a lot of anxiety in their body. When you're too outwardly focused, this is what actually creates a lot of anxiety in the body because you're not pulling your energy in. That's what you call a lack of boundaries. This is what you call being too focused on the external, which is creating a lot of resistance in your body. And I've been there, this happens to me sometimes. And if you're going through this right now, understand that to be in alignment with the Great Awakening, what you have to really do is prioritize your internal world, not your external world. Because if you're only focused on the external world during this awakening, or during this Great Awakening that people, you know, the people are calling what's happening right now, the Great Awakening, what's gonna happen is that you're not going to be set up on the path that's meant for you because if you're too focused externally and you're thinking logically about everything, that's going to be a hindrance to your development and your growth. You see, logic can only take you so far until it's time to follow your heart. And that sounds cliche, but that's also what I believe as well, is that right now on the planet, following your heart is more critical than ever. Because if you don't follow your heart, you're going to be living a life that you really don't enjoy. You're going to be living a life that's not in alignment with your passion. And I hate to say, like, it's honestly hard for me to communicate this, but I truly believe in my heart that if you don't follow your heart in the next five, 10 years, it's going to be really difficult for you on the planet, even more difficult than it has been. Not just for you, but for the entire planet. You want to be aligned with your heart. Also, it's going to be very, very tough to be on the planet right now very tough and my compassion goes to anybody in fear but if you're watching this video right now you have the choice to prioritize your internal world don't just think logically think about what is it that brings you peace if you're watching this video this far you're probably already going through the awakening feel into your heart what feels right it's so simple all i did was i let go of my logic i tuned into the present moment and i followed that and here i am getting closer and closer and closer to my dream life it's just that simple it's not that complicated you just have to be connected to the moment clear the fears out do some meditation boom that's it what brings you peace what brings you joy follow that meditation is a great way to connect with that connecting deeply to the present moment is a great way to connect with that don't just be focused on what actions you're taking be focused on the internal world and the energy of how you feel while you take certain actions so if you're at a job that logically makes sense that's giving you a lot of money but you don't feel good in that job then why are you in that job i hate to say that but why are you there why are you in that job if you don't feel good I'm not going to tell you what to do. It's your life. I'm not going to say leave that job because I almost said that, but I'm just going to say investigate in your life. Do you feel good with what you do? Prioritize your internal world. Now, the fifth thing you can do to be in alignment with the great awakening, or at least what people are calling the great awakening, which what I think is just an expansion of consciousness, which by the way, is an internal shift. This great awakening is not anything happening out there. It's internally each individual person having more consciousness, which then reflect in the external but this is an internal journey you see what i'm saying it's not external it's internal just wanted to say that now the fifth thing you can do is create boundaries 
The biggest thing that stopped me from being fully in my power and creating the life that I'm truly meant to be living is a lack of boundaries. That's all it is. A lot of people feel so much anxiety, so many blocks in regards to following their dream, so many issues that aren't even real at the core, but they think that they're real because they're lost in it because they have a lack of boundaries. That's all it is. It's just a lack of boundaries. If you create boundaries in your life, watch how everything in your life begins to shift. Watch how everything in your life begins to fully start to align. You get crystal clear vision that's not clouded in fear. It's no coincidence that the most successful people that you look up to all have taken time to go within, to go within and meditate. This is what people don't take time to do. They don't create boundaries and take time to go within themselves. If you just create boundaries, you stop being so lost in the external, you pull your energy in, you create boundaries, then tap into your intuition with those firm boundaries in place, that is how you align with the Great Awakening. Because I can't tell you what your path is. You have a unique path that's specifically designed for you. My path is to influence you right now, is to coach people one-on-one, -on -one, is to do other things that I haven't done yet, maybe some art forms. But what you gotta realize is that what you have to understand is that you need to create boundaries and go inward to find the unique path that is for you because I can't tell you what that path is. That's your unique path and you have to go inward and not be focused outward and go within and see what is your path, see what is true for you. And the only way that you're gonna do that is if you create firm boundaries. What does this mean? This means telling people no if you don't wanna hang out with them. This means saying, you know what? I'm not gonna be doing this if I don't wanna do this. I'm gonna go and meditate instead and not feel guilty for it. And people are gonna think you're selfish temporarily, but believe me, that is going to be for the greater good of that person for you and the entire planet. Boundaries can be difficult at first, especially if you're a conscious being or empathic or sensitive like me, but I had to learn to create these boundaries because I was being consumed by other people. I was letting people control my energy, take advantage of me. And I'm not saying this as like a, as like I'm a victim or I'm judging like, oh my gosh, I don't want these people in my life. It's nothing like that. It's just love for yourself. This is not about hating anybody else. It's not about hating society because if you hate somebody, you're hating a version of you because we're all connected. So don't judge other people. Don't hate other people. Just realize that you love yourself to such a high degree and I hope that you do. If you don't, love yourself a little bit more and create those boundaries. Don't be afraid to create those boundaries. That's where you will learn how to align with the Great Awakening. Watch what happens in your life, in your consciousness when you create boundaries. The first boundary I did was dropping out of school. I don't want that energy in my life. Not that I hate these people, it just it wasn't serving me personally anymore. Such powerful lessons I learned while in college, but then it came a point where I was like, no, this is not for me anymore. I have to create that boundary. I feel much lighter. I felt an immense lightness in my body. Next thing I did, certain friendships that I thought were in alignment had to cut them out. Stop responding to people. Stop hanging out with certain people that were draining my energy. 10 times lighter another level of awakening that I reached. Not to be egotistical or to, to, to say like I reached some crazy awakening, but like I kind of felt way better when I created boundaries. Then I cut out certain foods, then I cut out other relationships. And as you create more boundaries and you say no to certain things, that is going to make you automatically be in your core frequency that will bring you closer to what it is that you're truly meant to be doing. So boundaries are huge and you have to understand this to truly be aligned with the Great Awakening. And if you do all these five things, you are going to be set up for success, which I believe is going to be in alignment with what's happening on the planet right now. Because I believe that the planet is going through powerful shift and that things are going to change extremely powerfully in the next couple of years. And I think that if you're out of alignment with that, it's gonna be immensely difficult for you. But I think if you're in alignment with that, it's going to be beautiful, mystical, magical, and you will enjoy your life in ways that you didn't even know was possible. So. 
that's all I have for this video. Once again, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell because I do post a new video every single day. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can see the videos on your feed that I post every single day. Also, if you wanna work with me one-on-one -on -one personally, hit the link that's in the description box of this video to apply for a free consultation. So as always, have yourself a great day and I'll see you in the next video.